India took a walk on the moon, quite literally. ISRO has now released its first video after a successful landing. The stunning video shows the rover Pragyan ramping down from the lander Vikram right on the moon. The video has been captured from the cameras on the lander. ISRO has also confirmed that all the systems of Chandrayaan-3 are normal, functional, and all experiments so far conducted on the lunar surface all been as per schedule. Now, the rover Pragyan began its mobility operations on Thursday. Three lander module payloads, along with the ILSA, an instrument used for lunar seismic activity, have also been turned... In fact, what we know is that ISRO has also turned uh, those act sensors on. So, all those uh, payloads have been acting as per ISRO's directions. A third payload, the Ramba, which will study the atmosphere near the surface of the moon, has also been turned on. So, uh, great news is that it's been fully functional, great communication with ISRO so far, and the exploration by the rover is on point. Yes, Mr. Sivan, your thoughts on that uh, very moment. Those videos have been put out now by ISRO of that very moment when Pragyan left the lander. No, this uh, uh, the particular uh, video what has put this about mm -hmm. that uh, the rover mm -hmm. going around uh, on the surface of the moon. Mm -hmm. Now it's uh, first of all this is a very complex process and it is uh, come out and is uh, moving around the, on the surface of the moon. Mm -hmm. And now it will uh, collect the scientific uh, data and that data will be sent to uh, Earth for analysis by the scientists and then we can get out of that one good science from mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. You know, Mr. Sivan, I want to ask you, sir. Uh, we, look at the look at the clarity of these pictures. I mean, these are beautiful. It's 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 tough to believe that this is actually from the moon. It's it's surreal, isn't it? The clarity with which these pictures are there before us. What do you have to say about that? No, oh, this uh, definitely that mm -hmm. the clarity is there because of it. Mm -hmm. Now the technology is, is, is improved mm -hmm. and the latest technology is gone inside. Mm -hmm. So the, automatically it will be a good thing. Yes. You know, also I want to get a sense from you about the kind of work that the rover is going to do in the next few days or so, up till 14 days before the night falls on the moon. Essentially the 14 days uh, of this period is very, very essential. What's going to happen in these 14 days and what's the kind of information that we'll get back here on Earth? No, no, these, it will, uh, the, the, during these 14 days, it will be collecting the data mm. and uh, that data will be in, in it, uh, it won't be in the usable form and the data will be sent back to Earth and the, uh, the scientists have to work on decipher the data Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they have to do the spectrum analysis, a lot more work they have to do it. And it is not that today or tomorrow the results will come. Yes. It will take some time to get okay. the scientific uh, uh, discovery. So some how much time, time, day, sir? time Professor Seven, how much time do you think it's going to take? It will take uh, months together, okay. this one. Okay. Not 14 days it or so? Not 14 days or so? No, no. What in days it will collect the data, hmm. but the data has to be analyzed. Okay. And the, the data will be in some form. That hmm. is, the, it won't give that, uh, like a water molecule means not the water. It won't hmm. tell that it's the water is that. It is the data will show that there's so many uh, information available, but the, 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 this data has to be analyzed and deciphered. And uh, okay. the spectrum analysis has to be done. What is the and kind of information are we only, expecting, sir? What, when you say data, uh, what is it that you're expecting? It will be done after some time only. It will, okay. it will take some time. Okay. This one. What is the data that we're expecting? If you could just give us a sense, I mean, there would be a sense of what really is anticipated, isn't it? What can no, we, we expect? We are anticipating, we are expecting something new. But what is new, if you're asking, I cannot say hmm. this one. Okay. Yes, wait. If, if we know this is the data, then we need not go there. So mm -hmm. something new only will be there. That way only we can find out. Okay. What happens, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Sivan, once, uh, once uh, night falls on the moon, during that time, will rover function at least partially? Will that happen at least partially? Or will it not be functional at all? No, no, during night time, mm -hmm. the, after 14 days, the lunar night will come. Then uh, this will be temperature will be so low that most of the electronic packages may not be working at the low temperature. Mm -hmm. So it may fail. And uh, so uh, in case of that uh, the, it is withstanding the low temperature and it survived, 
So after the next 14 days, once again, we can get the data. Otherwise, we are thinking that the, 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 the electronic packages may not survive with this very cold temperature. Mm -hmm. Beautiful uh, visual you have presented here. And I think the cutest vehicle of India, the rover is, uh, is uh, coming down the ramp. And I think our automobile industry can take a cue here. I think... Uh, it's the most wonderful video. You can see the marks it is making as it is moving uh, further. So, uh, I'll, as I hear, ISRO has activated uh, all the instruments on lander as well as on the uh, uh, rover. So, they are going to uh, make a study of the moon uh, as long as the sun is up there in the sky of the moon. So, it's about the surface composition. It's about the the interior of the moon, and of course, the very, very thin atmosphere, which we call exosphere around the moon, which is of charged particles, and whatever radiations that come and fall on the moon's surface, and uh, they eject the electrons, and you have some ionized matter uh, floating around. All right, let me cut across to Nagarjun Dwarkana joining us live. For more, Nagarjun, ISRO must be over the moon. And quite literally, the uh, Pragyan rover has rolled out of its lander. It's now taking a good walk on the moon. And that's the first video that's been released. And even that Ashoka symbol, we believe the Ashoka lion, uh, India's imprint, has been etched on the lunar surface. Can this make us any more proud? Absolutely, Nabila. Imagine our own emblem being there on the moon permanently as such. Uh look at the quality of the resolution of video as well when i saw it for the first i was surprised and shocked even uh, back on earth our phones also don't click such good videos uh, that's the quality of video that we have access we all have to be lucky to view this in our generation as well uh, the rover that has moved now has two payloads the spectrometers have been put in place on the rover pragyan these spectrometers look at the composition of the soil on the moon as to what are the elements that contains on the lunar surface. And there's also alpha X-ray spectrometer that has been put up on the rover. This spectrometer again will uh, capture X-ray images of the rocks of the moon as to, to know the basic elements that made the moon. Uh, it could be uh, in the, on the periodic table so that we know the composition of the moon exactly as well. And if there is water molecules, like Mr. Shivan said, there won't be direct water, but some uh, clues that these elements can form the water that would be a biggest uh, discovery of our generation uh, if one may say if one may say and also on the lander there are four uh, uh, payloads as well though they also are doing this job uh, looking at the seismic activity activities moon quake if it's happening how big is it happening or what are the uh, tectonic plates that, that are doing in the lunar uh, you know under the lunar surface all these are being looked at quite a exciting time for space sector not just isro for the whole humanity as to more discoveries will come through the months now right well, uh, well for for what we hear from several uh, space exploration centers across the globe is that the lunar surface could likely have some traces of frozen water uh, and that's of course a source of oxygen so if um, our chandrayaan 3 mission is able to tap into that then this is certainly going to uh, be a great uh, discovery, undoubtedly. And this image here itself uh, speaks for a lot. India's emblem that's been etched on the lunar surface and that rover now taking a good walk, moving around as it begins its 15-day, 14-day exploration. Thank you very much, Nagarjun, for joining us.